Alright, so it's just important. So, what we're doing is a cutaneous injection, or the injection into the fatty tissue. Okay? You can relax your arm. Now, we do it in the back of the arm in this particular class. And once again, written expressed order from the doctor on paper as to what medication, what patient, what dosage, everything the doctor tells you. We're going to go in the back of the uh, arm where there's always a little bit of something for anybody. So I'm going to take a big, you know, swab with alcohol right over here and let it air dry. Okay. Now, I got my syringe. I know that it's checked for proper <laughs> dosage. I don't have any air bubbles in there. Okay, I'm going to hold it just like I'm doing it for a blood draw, just like I'm doing it for an intradermal injection with these three fingers with a bevel facing me or up in this particular way. Just like in the previous you know, uh, injections, I'm going to take a couple of pieces of gauze okay, and I'm going to stick it between my index finger and my uh, middle finger of the left hand and I'm going to grab this uh, fatty yeah. tissue right over here. Oh, That's right. So watch this. I'm going to take my hand, my hand is upside down again, I'm going to give her a big grab right over here. Every part of this area I know I cleaned. And the only thing I have to do now is go straight up into this bulge right over here. See this bulge is already forming like a 45 degree angle between the rest of the arm and itself. So you can see how there's an angle. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into this bulge like this. She's not going to feel anything and the needle goes all the way in. I let go of my left hand. The right hand is married to the needle. It does not move. Okay, it's all the way in. I'm going to aspirate the syringe, meaning pull back in the plunger. If I hit a blood vessel, it's going to show a little bit of blood flashing back into the syringe. But there is none, and I'm going to pretend to inject. The injections are always done slowly. The shot is quick, the injection is slow. Once I finish with my injection, I'm going to take my gauze that's already here, place it gently over the needle, quick pull out, because the pulling out part hurts more than putting the needle in. That's right. So that's why we do it quickly. Massage the area. I'm going to throw out the needle into my sharp container, make sure that it's gone. And I'm going to put a Band-Aid over this. Would you like a Band-Aid? Please. Okay. So once again, throw the answer out with this. Right. And you see what happens is after you've been injecting a person for a while, the tissues are beginning to gather around your needle. Okay. And as you extract the needle from the patient, you know, you're basically just separating the tissues one more time, creating some pain. Okay, I stuck her right there. Pull, pull. My gloves didn't get caught. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm right here. I'm collecting up all my garbage into my non dominant hand. Pinch, slop over, hook underneath, slop over, throw it out in the regular trash on my way out, and wash my hands. I'm going to go wash my hands, and you prepare your stuff to stick me.